Hi, my name is Lane Spradlin. I'm a marketing product specialist for Massey Ferguson, and today I'm going to talk about Nodder settings on LB2200 series large square balers. One of the first things I'll check on these nodders is disc timing, and the way to do that is you pull the slack out of the clean out there and make sure that this edge is flush with this corner of the disc. The next thing I'm going to check is my disc tension. To do that, we're going to come to this bolt right here. Right now I have it backed off to just finger tight so I can just barely move these springs. That's what we're going to call zero. I like to start out going about 10 flats past zero. When we are talking about flats, we are literally talking about the flat side of this nut here. This nut has six sides, so one flat is one sixth of a turn. 10 flats is usually my starting point. Looser on the disc will usually result in a longer tail, but can also result in an uneven cutoff. So always make sure you're just tight enough to have a clean cutoff. Tighter will tend to shorten your tail. The next thing I'll check is my bill hook tension, and we'll do that by adjusting this nut to adjust tension on this spring here. This one is set pretty loose. I'm going to tighten it up until it takes about five to seven pounds to move this spring. One thing to note when making infield adjustments is we recommend going one flat at a time on either of these and then seeing how it runs. A small adjustment can make a big difference. For more information regarding nodders, please refer to your owner's manual, specifically starting on page 269.